And like thriving, its thriving economy, Rwanda's financial services sector still lags in the region. According to research by Ecobank, Kenyan banks with subsidiaries in Rwanda are also not faring on well. Michael Karanja tells us why. For all the attention Rwanda receives as an investment destination, one would be mistaken to think the country's financial services sector was just as vibrant. But with just nine commercial banks and five specialized financial institutions, Rwanda's banking sector is a green one, ranking fourth in the East African community. From efficiency level, it's the worst in the East African zone. Uh, and, and so, it, if you look at those key, key two key metrics, uh, you probably will not touch Rwanda's banking sector. However, uh, the penetration rate is one of the highest in, 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 in East Africa. And if, and I mean, penetration, I mean um, the number of adult population, bankable adult population, that are accessing both formal and informal financial services is at 73 percent. We are not even there ourselves at Kenya. Total assets under management stand at 1.6 billion dollars compared to 27 billion dollars in Kenya. The country, however, does have a high savings culture through the Umuranga Cooperative Movement, with 72 percent of the adult banking population captured. Several Kenyan banks, such as the KCB Group, Equity, Fina, and INM Bank, have opened in Rwanda with a business model analysts believe will catch on as the appetite for banking services increases. They've started from scratch. It's, a green, uh, it's, it's, it's an organic model. So they don't go acquiring an existing name. So that's why you see you have to grow it organically. That's why they're taking time to, to, be, um, to be the top, the top names. Yeah. While the appetite for personal buying remains low, sectors such as tourism and construction are driving the banking sector. Analysts see the current trend changing given the high investment interest in the country. Michael Karanja, KTN Business Today.